Bonjour et bienvenue à tous. Aujourd'hui est un moment très excitant de notre parcours ensemble. J'ai aujourd'hui l'immense honneur de présenter les recommandations pour les nouveaux pays membres de la MGE. Comme vous le savez tous, la MGE travaille avec les organisations associées et de nouveaux pays où il n'y a pas de bibisme pour les aider, les accompagner et enfin pouvoir les accueillir comme nouveaux membres de la MGE. Mais savez-vous comment ce processus-là marche Dans les pays où nous avons une association guide ou scout, la MGE travaille avec cette association-là. Dans d'autres pays où il n'y a pas sur le terrain une association scout ou guide, la MGE travaille à promouvoir, à établir le guidisme dans ces pays-là et à créer une association locale. Dans les deux cas, l'association locale doit obéir à certaines sets de conditions qui sont énumérées dans notre constitution et dans nos politiques internes. Par exemple, certaines de ces conditions sont avoir adopté la méthodologie guide, avoir le trèfle dans son badge, être ouverte à toutes les filles et à chaque fille, euh, aussi avoir une adhésion sur la base du volontariat, en plus de ces conditions-là, pour être une organisation membre titulaire, il faut aussi obéir à notre set de conditions qui sont énumérées dans la Constitution et dans la politique de membership, la politique d'adhésion de, de l'AMG. Par, par exemple, avoir une structure bien développée, participer activement au programme de l'AMGE et aussi avoir un plan de développement en place. L'AMGE au travers de l'équipe de réponse rapide, que nous appelons le Rapid Response Team, supporte, soutient et aide les organisations membres potentielles pour atteindre leur adhésion. Nous travaillons avec ces organisations pour une durée qui peut aller jusqu'à 6 ans, au travers d'un calendrier commun, au travers d'un plan commun dont l'objectif est de, de répondre à toutes ces conditions d'adhésion et pour être accepté comme membre de, de l'AMG. Ce plan contient en, en gros du euh, développement de capacité, il contient aussi du euh, développement de l'adhésion et il contient aussi des visites sur site. Euh, C'est un process très détaillé et très approfondi et toutes les organisations que nous allons voir aujourd'hui ont travaillé très dur pour en arriver là. Allons à leur rencontre Welcome to a clip that tells a little bit about girl guides in Mozambique. Girl guiding came when Mozambique did not do anything. It is something great and it's something that is bringing new innovations to all the young girls in Mozambique. These lessons are helping them to know that the sky is the limit. You know, that marriage is not the end of the world. Because in Africa, you know, many children think that when they get married, they have succeeded. Ah, ah, marriage is not, is not success. So this is what we are trying to transmit to young girls in Mozambique. As guias estão em quatro províncias. Eu sou coordenadora das atividades em Beira e Tete. Temos 3 mil meninas e 85 voluntárias. Now, Mozambique is a country member of WAG. I'm very proud of the great Mozambican leaders who worked to make this possible. I would like to thank WAG for this opportunity, for all the trainings and support during the process toward membership. Being a member of WAG means that Mozambican girls will have the opportunity to be part of this family with more than 10 million girls. Opportunity to learn from WAG's programs, learn from each other and fully develop their potential. Activities happening at this time of COVID-19. Sharing knowledge on how to wash our hands, how to use our masks and how to build and to keep our immune system strong. Hello Scouts and Guides, I'm Peko Kadinic, I'm President of the Scout Association of Montenegro. I have opportunity today to share with you a story about scouting in Montenegro. We're starting with scouting in 1928 as a part of Scout Association of Yugoslavia. The Scout Association of Yugoslavia was one of the first members of the VAGS, but also one of the members who made the VAGS. 
Today's Scout Association of Montenegro have 2,000 Scouts in 28 units all around the country. We are very happy because we have opportunity to share a Scout story with kids and young people in Montenegro. See you very soon! Hello everyone, my name is Milica and in the past two years I was the contact person for Montenegro in the process of becoming the member of WAGS. Uh, during that period, uh, we used tools from WAGS in order to uh, make our girls more powerful and make them reach their uh, full potential. Uh, we already used many of the programs created by WAGS in order to celebrate the World Thinking Day, uh, also the campaigns against violence and many other things. A few years ago, we recognized the challenge of having more girls as our members and less girls at the decision-making positions. That was one of the main reasons for our decision to become part of WAGS. Uh, last year, I was part of the Juliet Law Seminar in November, and I want girls in our association to have that same opportunity and to use many other programs and activities that WAGS can offer to us. We are very happy and very excited about becoming a member of the uh, World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts uh, that will connect us with uh, many other girls uh, and boys, scouts and guides all over the world. Bye! What amazing stories! This past triennium I've been uh, working part of, as a part of Haifa's team uh, and chairing the so-called rapid response team that has been supporting and guiding uh, these MOs in their pathway towards membership. So this is also a time for me to personally thank all the uh, volunteers and the amazing staff who have been throughout the triennium working for these countries uh, and assisting them to become better and better and in reaching the membership criteria of WAGS. Thank you everyone and especially thank you to the fantastic countries for sharing their membership stories today with us. However, I'm not here today to talk about the uh, all, all new countries. I'm to talk about the associate members that we have the privilege of uh, welcoming into full membership. The associate members have already been welcomed into WAG's membership partially uh, in the previous World Conference. And the past triennium, they have been working hard uh, in reaching the full membership criteria of WAGS. This is of course uh, Georgia, it's Ukraine and it's Suriname. And this is time to thank the regional committees that have been supporting these countries, all the volunteers and staff engaged, and especially to thank and celebrate the countries themselves. They've done an amazing job and they've done well. I'm very, very thrilled to be presenting to you today, Georgia, Ukraine and Suriname. Scouting has started in Georgia since 1992, as the time interest in scouting was high in both girls and boys. Later, the organization split, and on April 19, 1997, the Georgian Girl Scouts Association DIA was officially established. In 1999, at the Third World Conference, DIA became an associate member of PAX. At the end of 2019, these activities were positively evaluated by international mentors and today we are looking forward to the confirmation of VAX full membership. VAX full membership for DIA will be the consequence of 28 uh, years of tireless work we, that we, uh, DIA's board, uh, youth council, leaders and volunteers have been doing to create equal opportunities for girls and women in Georgia. With the help of AX, DIA gives the members various chances to participate in the seminars, trainings and conferences. Um, in the 2015, 2018 and 2019, members of DIA who worked in the fields of education, training and management attended the academy. In 2016 and 2019, DIA took part in the European Conference and 2017 the World Conference. Members of the association participate in the social entrepreneurship training, gender and diversity program, study sessions for the young leaders, peace building programs, 
project to our way international commissioners forums agility law seminar and the european guides and the scout conference it's amazing to see that we are scouting units hundreds and thousands of same organizations from different countries and the how the girl guides and girl scouts manage to communicate and collaborate considering their cultural and personal attributes wax membership make uh, is accessible to our country's representatives to connect with representatives of the world of scouting and guiding who then become role models for our young members at last all the achievements of scouting that have become a reality today are based on the healthy and powerful value system which is common and shared by all girl guides and girl scouts um, this experience gives us a confidence that the future belongs to the people who will be guided by kindness and the love oriented cross-cultural healthy value in the relationship Hello everyone, my name is Daria and I'm an International Commissioner of Association of Ukrainian Guides. I have the honor to tell you the story of a lifetime that started in 1994. We've passed a long and unique way to achieve a full status during challenging but very promising years. Many of our leaders went deep into psychology, sociology, marketing and management to ensure sufficient operating planning and develop strategy. All this knowledge was forwarded to have a positive impact on lives and communities both in and outside the association. We have already raised some generations of passionate and active young leaders. Juliet Law Seminar, Helen Storrell Seminar, other seminars and trainings, working for bags, being volunteers at world centers, various conferences, camps, jamborees. This is all we've been a part of. It's a great opportunity for girls from Ukraine to connect with other girls from all over the world and share their stories and histories, backgrounds, ideas and thoughts. VAX supports us to develop girl guiding in Ukraine and show other girls from all over Ukraine how cool guiding is. New status means not only new opportunities, but also new challenges and responsibilities. But we are really happy to take them both. Being a VAX member means having millions of friends around the world, meeting new people and learning about their lives telling stories about girls of our country, sharing experiences and helping each other, working together to make the world a better place. And of course, having fun in many, many ways. Isn't it exciting? I believe it really is. Tell us what you like about coming to Girl Guiding or Girl Scouting meetings. Uh, it's fun and it's very easy. You learn a lot? Yeah. The council consists of two component associations, Kitsu Suriname, GS, and Kitsu Suriname, so Pat Finster's Hilda, SPG. We are applying for full membership because we are for more than 40 years associate member and since 2007 we are working towards full membership and after hearing that the VEX acknowledged federation it was like seeing a big door open for Suriname. My biggest discovery um, you know, along the path of, of for membership over the past 70 years in, uh, in this organization, uh, I can say that we had the full Girl Scouting experience in Suriname. If I have to tell a friend about Girl Scouting, I will say that you learn a lot about Girl Scouts to be social and independent. You learn discipline, being honest, being tolerant, learn how to treat your fellow sisters, go camping, having fun, 
uh, sing songs, and get along with other people. You know, when we work together, when we work shaping our future, we shape the future for girls and young women in the world. But above all, we are having fun. I am Suriname's Patrice Sarah. 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 Ik ben jullie naam ze pak van Sussurai. Of course, in a normal process, we would have been all gathering together at the World Conference, where you, our current 150 MOs, would have had the chance to vote on the membership of these fantastic countries. However, obviously, this year it's going to be slightly different. And that's why later on this year, we as a world board will be coming to you with a written resolution and ask you to approve the full membership of Georgia, Ukraine and Suriname in WAGS. For that reason, we hope that these videos um, that give you a glimpse of the life, progress and work that these fantastic countries do have convinced you that they are really deserving their membership and that you are quite as excited as we in the World Board of uh, welcoming these countries into the worldwide sisterhood in WAGS. If there are any questions you have on the process so far uh, or of these countries in general, so please feel free to reach out to Haifa or to myself or to a staff member in the membership department for any further clarifications. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about these new countries uh, that we are hoping to be welcoming into WAG's membership. And tomorrow, I really very much hope that you will be able to join us to meet some very special and inspirational people.